This morning, a Lafayette police officer remains in serious but stable condition after being shot in the back by one of her fellow officers. This all happening yesterday while police were looking for a wanted person inside a home. Our Paris Lubel was on the scene as this unfolded yesterday. He now joins us live with more on the two investigations now underway. Paris, good morning. Meredith, good morning. We know that officer is a three year veteran of the department and she was wearing a bulletproof vest during the incident, but that bullet entered be above the protected area. Key star towards 367's location, 813 North 9th. It all started around 1030 on Tuesday. Police were investigating a call of criminal mischief at a home near 9th and Union and were looking for a person wanted on warrants. And we're being given uh, consent to go inside and look we'll be inside. Police say a large dog was inside the home but contained by the homeowner and police were allowed to go inside and start searching. You can hear the dog barking in the background over one of the officer's radios. Then the dog broke free and charged at the officers. The officers ran inside, but police say one of the officers' guns went off and the bullet traveled through a door and hit Officer Lane Butler in the back. Single tank. Medic single tank. More officers and medics rushing to the scene. We have an officer down. Police now conducting two investigations into the matter, a criminal investigation and an internal investigation as per protocol on officer-involved shootings. At this point in time, we're not going to comment on any of the details of the investigation, uh, just to say that it is currently under investigation at this point in time. The police department will also convene a shooting review board to review all facts of the case and determine what happened and if it was within the department's protocol. The department has confirmed that the officers were, were, were wearing body cameras. Those will be vital parts of both investigations. The department says they do plan to release that video to the public on Friday. Reporting live this morning, Paris Lubell, RTV6.